Welcome to part two of episode 17. I was going to do a longer intro, but it's just started raining, and this whole episode is about Jane anyway, so enjoy. Wasn't this now, such look, a good look, hit? But. Ah, but look at the difference in the ball flight. Yeah. It's not. It's doing that because see, there's, I don't know if you've heard, you've probably heard this many times before, but see when you when you swing, when it when it's breezy, you swing it easy. Right. Or into the breeze, swing with ease, and what that does is just what that ball did. It didn't. It couldn't soar because you didn't put as much spin on the ball. Right. See, this thing, I mean, it's one of these things where, like, you talk to good golfers and they talk about all the spin and everything. I'm at a level that no matter what I'm shooting score-wise, spin to me is like, great. Yeah. Whatever comes out, comes out. Uh-huh. Like, I've got no concept of how to spin or not spin up a golf ball. Yeah. Um, and likewise, I mean, how's your distance control for your short game and stuff like that? Do you struggle a wee bit with that or are you okay? I can do. I mean, it, it, again, just massively inconsistent. If, if I've been playing... Um, a bit more and I'm kind of slightly more dialed in if you like mm-hmm. other times oh shit, that's 40 yards through the green well you know a good way to practice especially when you're starting off your practice for the day using a 7 iron or an 8 iron full swing 7 iron or 8 iron 50 yards ok that's the white flag right so that would be the first exercise then you can move up to the yellow flag and then maybe to the white lollipop until you get to your full swing. Right. So we're still going full swing, but we're just trying to take it really easy. Yeah. That that really gets gets the feel for shots. Okay. I, I, this, this sounds so bizarre that this, I have to try it. I'll take, right. the, I'll take this away. Okay, we're done with that. Just that's, we, right. we, know, we know what we're so trying to do with that. So it's a full swing, but we only want the ball to go 50 yards. This will test you. This is going to be very interesting. Nope. Well, that's your 100 yards. That's my 100 yards. Okay, so we just jumped one. 50, jeez. That's, this is really slow, isn't it? Okay, so you can see the club face is opening. Yeah. That's, but just, it's, just it is, it's, a, it's a really difficult exercise, but it should help you with your, your tempo. Even that's better. But you've never swung the club that's No, it's it's very because I just I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> oh well done. Nice. Very nice. So that's a lovely exercise, it really is. Look how steady you are on that. Yeah. So what we're wanting is to build that speed back up but still have that stability. Uh-huh. The, the, the better you are with your stability, the more consistent you're going to be. Ah, uh, yeah. But that's, this, is, this is a new way or a different way for you now to learn to control your different speeds. Yeah. Well, I think as well, because like, as much as my head's at this point just sort of thinking about how slow I'm going to do mm-hmm. a thing, but there's no, this isn't going to happen. Because, you know, it's, it's only when you're kind of going for power or going for whatever. Right. If you're literally sort of going, right, you know, I'm thinking slightly about keeping my... my um, right ball down and other than that it's like yeah <laughs> that's, that's really good okay so we'll go to the yellow flag now yellow there'll be flag. a wee bit of a break here okay again this is just sort of like recalibrating mm-hmm. it. So I'm sort of like that about right now look at the ball flight look at it going into the air that's per- That's oh gosh nearly a hole in one <laughs> look at the difference in the ball flight yeah that is really good. Thank you. So this is ideally how you really should start all your practice sessions. Yeah. And it's a, it is a huge challenge. And you often say to yourself, well, when, when would I need these type of shots? Well, if you know how to really slow it down, especially, see if you were doing that with the driver, I think you'd be quite amazed at how the ball in the air goes that way instead of that way. I mean, even even just thinking of trying to do this with a driver just would be it feels like it would be the most bizarre thing in the world to be like, you know, trying to tickle it. But with it, a driver. it's all about control, self-control, and this is this is just a start of learning how to control. Yeah. So have a final look to see where you're going. That's good. There you go. <laughs> Very diplomatically put. <laughs> Oh, 
How sweet was that? Very sweet. So what, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest you can hit it and 1 being the softest, where would you place that at? 6. 6. Ish. Well, the, the maximum... Maybe 7, but 6. Yeah, the maximum we really want is 8. Okay. That's, that's a big discipline just in itself, but you will lose no distance. You will gain accuracy. But that's the discipline. That's where, that's where the ball starts to mess with your mind. Because you start hitting it really quite nice and it shouts at you, oh, you can hit me harder. Yeah. And then, then, then the green mist <laughs> <laughs> just descends <laughs> and we become the Hulk. <laughs> that was dead straight. Well done. That was right, Robin couple. who hit my previous ball out of the way. Aye, aye. That's accuracy for you. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pinocchio. Right, a Thanks. couple more with the iron, but then, then we'll go, guess what you're going to try it with next? It's exciting. I feel like that's it's almost like end of part one. <laughs> come back to part two. <laughs> right, last one. Come on, finishing a good one. Not quite. Yeah. I felt like I sort of opened up when I was. You did. Did I? Yeah. Okay. You did. Yeah, and it's getting, as it's just getting that nice, that nice release on the follow through. Right, let's try it again. Cut that bit out. Last one. Make it a good one. <laughs> well done. Quite high again, but it was a good. Felt like I got through it. Now, it went a little bit higher because again, you just increased your your swing speed a little bit. So you hit it a tiny wee bit harder, and it went a shorter distance because the spin it went was wrong. Up. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this time the driver, the first swing is to the yellow flag. Right. <laughs> okay. But in case that doesn't show up on camera, that's the 100 yard marker, roughly. Which is normally a good drive for him, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Quite a few people would be happy with that, <laughs> let's be honest. Especially if it's, uh, that's where the fairway starts. This is not an easy exercise, by the way, so you're doing really thank well. Thank you, thank you. I've never even heard of anybody doing this before, so I think Just people are going to be watching this going, this is amazing. Drop your hands down a wee wee bit and get your bum up high. There you go. Hands down, bum up. Okay. Distance good, face open. Yep. I think it's as if sometimes on the follow through, it's as if you're trying to follow through on a straight line sometimes, uh -huh. rather than allowing yourself just to rotate. To rotate through. Quite possibly. It's... Uh, I want an Ingelbert Humperdinck. Please release me, let me go. So what is it, this bum up thing? Bum up, hands down, bum up and chin up. There you go, two ups, one down. Well, that's even worse in terms of line. And again, it is, it is a, a release thing. So on the way through, after we've hit the ball, as you come through, impact will just jump over, rotate. So at the halfway stage here, the shaft of the club should point to the target. Okay. The toe of the club should point to the sky. Your toe of the club tends to want to do that, and that's exactly where the ball's going. Okay. Okay. So it's it's just it's a very it's it's not much, but it's enough to keep the ball going straight. Again, that's I'm just overcorrecting straight off the bat because I'm thinking that's about. That's fine though. I'd rather you overcorrect than nothing happen at all. I don't mind that at all. It's gone a little bit left, but the ball's wanting to at least spin the other way, isn't it? It's not spinning to the right. Yeah. We're probably going up to another, what, about up to 60% now? 70%? No, 60 would probably be right. Mm, got a bit fast on the way through. Did you see how, how far that ball went? Uh-huh. And you tickled it. I'm losing your tees all over the place here, I don't know where they're that's, going. No, that's fine. Pick them up later. Oh, there's one there. Less knee bend. That's better. You can stand more upright with the driver. Now that with the right hand turning over would have been lovely. So there you go. Forehand at tennis. Use your right hand, forearm. It's not a flick, it's a roll. Oh, nearly. See, when I, when I see the follow through, and you maybe see that on your video. Yeah. 
when you're following through, watch, I know it's, this is an iron, it's not a driver. When you, when you get to that stage there, your club looks kind of like that and it should look more like that. Right. So it's enough just to get the ball going to the right. Okay. So on your glove hand, your glove hand, see, it should finish. You don't want your glove hand above your, you don't want it above your right hand. It has to be below. Does that make sense? You want to come back in here just in case you... Got to use, it's the right, to get it going straight, you need to feel as if the, the right hand, the right forearm is turning over. That's it. Do you use your right arm? Are you quite aware of, are you quite re aware of releasing? When I've been sort of really playing about with, with what I'm doing and stuff, sometimes I've felt, more so with irons, but that I'd kind of, you know, go back up to here and then I'd almost let my right arm take over. Right. So it'd almost be like, I could do that. For, for, you know the left arm's there, but it's almost you know people talk about how the left arm's your grip and your right arm's your guide, whether or not that's true or not. But so I would go the other way because if you're naturally right-handed, you know that's your right side is where your power should come uh -huh. from. The left side's stopping the right hand from from Going from taking over. over. Uh -huh. So but you, I mean, as you come down, you're pulling down with the left, but you release with the right. But the work is a team. Oh, well done. Mm, nearly, not that, quite. It's again. It's again. Even when you're showing me there, it's still kind of like this. It's not. That, that's it. Roll. Yeah, I think that's something I've trained myself to do wrongly, in terms of um, that you know, club head towards the target thing. Yeah, club. The club heads at the target, of it, from there to there at the ball. That's it. And that's it. So all this. Then, is then, then the club head. Then the club head has to be square to you. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yeah, because so otherwise you're just, you If the ball was up here, you know, as I turn to the right, you can see the angle of the face of the club. Look, it's not changing. To me, it's the same. So when I'm hitting the shot, if I get to here, I'm going on a straight line. But that time, the club face is wide open. And it only needs to be a degree or two open with the driver, and it's away over there. So, roll. That's better. Go for it. Even if you get, a, even if you get a couple of dirty hooks to begin with. I want to see a difference. Make it go left. Spin it left. Now look at the ball flight. I know it has gone a little bit left, but it didn't hook. No, but really. It just yeah, they kept it down though, didn't it? Nearly killed me with the tee, by the way. But apart from that, that was good. <laughs> I had to do a wee duck and dive and hit the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're trying to achieve as, as the club comes into the back of the ball, if I may show you, okay? So we're wanting the club head to come in from this angle here and then rotate. So you almost like the shape of the carpet here. You know? But what you don't want is you don't want to come over the top. Ah. And that's what's starting at a little bit left. But it is, it's getting, if I keep my right hand open, it's going that way. Sometimes that's quite a good exercise to keep your right hand open and rotate. That's it, use the, use the right hand to rotate, well done. Wow, that's looking good. I mean, sort of to be a bit further down if that's yeah, not cheating too much. No, no, not at all. It's, it's just all about getting their feel for what that right hand and forearm should be doing. It can really get a really nice release. Bit in my toes there, but let's see. Right then, come on. Good one to finish. No pressure. Oh, yeah, wee beauty. Or oh, we're finishing on that one. <laughs> And we're done. Goodbye. That, look at that. Look at. I mean, look how that ball just did Didn't, not. Yeah. It went. Now I don't know what what you felt percentage wise you used there, but that I still looked as if you tickled it a little bit. It was nice, yeah, nice well, it and easy. It wasn't, uh, no, I wasn't going but for it. By any what means. we want is to take that technique and then add your power to it. Yeah. But that was a completely different ball flight. That was lovely. Well done. Thanks very much. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> just tease everywhere. Oh, that's all right. I did then. Well done. Thank you very much.